Hey guys, we're going to have a little talk today about custom shortcuts in Unity. And I was moving around my scene, looking at the different collisions and the colliders and everything in there. And I was going around selecting an object, then deciding, do I want to add another item? So I want a box collider. And I was going around and then add a box collider to that. And then I would click on my next one and do that. And I thought, Oh God, there must be an easier way to do this. And there is to create custom shortcuts to do anything that you want in Unity. So be sure to check out my Patreon to support the channel if you like everything that I do and you can get access to the scripts, projects and premium content on there and that would really help me out. So Unity by default has loads of shortcuts whether you rotate, whether you pan around, whether you zoom, whether you use the shortcuts to move, scale, rotate. But in our case here, what you can take a look at is if you go in Unity 2019.4 and above, edit, shortcuts. So you can see that when we bring up this menu, we've got a whole selection of different shortcuts that we have, which could be all from the left-hand side, which is the individual categories. So if we click on window, you can see that you can maximize the view by pressing Alt and space. But in my case, I wanted something that isn't available as a shortcut. So I wanted to add box colliders to everything. So if I search box collider, but we make sure that we're in all Unity commands, then you can see here, that we have one that's called the main menu component physics box collider which would be up here for the main menu which is at the top component physics and box collider or if we added it in the inspector and you can see that i've actually added a shortcut in here and what you can do to add a new shortcut if you click on one of these options let's say we've got we want to add 2d colliders then what we can do is we can just double click on the item press shift and h and it says hit shift H is already assigned to the scene visibility and toggle. You can reassign or you can create conflict. So maybe that won't work out for us. We could try shift J. So we'll double click on it again. Shift J is something that we can use to add 2D colliders. So I already had shift B for adding box colliders. So let's say I add it, selected another one of my objects here and it doesn't have anything so I can press shift J you can see on this side I added a 2d collider I didn't want that so I could press shift B and now my life has been turned a lot easier if I'm just going to go down and set all these fences to have colliders on I know I could update the prefab but this is just one example of something that we could use the custom shortcuts to be used for and to make your life easier if you intend to do lots of, of the same actions or you do very specific things that you use all of the time so be sure to come and check out my patron if you want to support the channel and you get access to free scripts projects and premium content in there come and join me on discord if you want to have a chat and take a look at my great unity assets on the unity store so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe